Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a podcast in GarageBand. The first thing that I'm going to do is open up GarageBand, which is the application that we use to make podcasts. And this is my opening window that I see. Here is where we choose the kind of project that we want to make inside GarageBand. And as you can see, I have podcasts selected and I'm going to press choose. This window is important just to pick the title of your project. I'm going to call it Photography. Where I want to save it, the default is the GarageBand folder. I'm going to save mine on my desktop. And down here is Tempacho Signature and Key. When you are using GarageBand for music composition, this is something that you probably want to pay attention to. But in this case, we don't need to change it, so I'm going to press Create. When GarageBand opens up, I see four default tracks on the left side. The first is Podcast Track. This is where I'm going to put all of the images for my podcast. The second is Male Voice, I have Female Voice, and Jingles. Obviously, the voice tracks is what we're going to use to record our voice. But the default gives you two tracks. This does not mean that you have to have two voices. In fact, even if you're a girl and you record on the male voice track, it makes no difference. I can also just delete this entirely if I know I'm not going to use it. I can highlight male voice, go to track, delete track, and now I'm just left with podcast track, female voice for myself, and jingles. Jingles is a garage band term for the musical instrumentals that GarageBand offers us in its musical library. We're going to learn a little bit about that later. The first thing that we need to think about is what is a podcast? This term podcast actually comes from broadcasting and iPod. The concept came from having radio shows that are more visual that you can see on something as small as an iPod and it came to be a podcast. They are typically short in length, they're informative, and they include voice and images. It is not exactly what you could create in iMovie because we don't use transitions and we don't use special effects. But one thing that we can add to enhance it is a musical instrumental in the background. And I'm going to show you how to do that today in this tutorial. The first thing you want to do, even before you come into GarageBand, is make a script. This is important so when you do record your voice in here, you will have something to read. It'll save you time and it won't take you as many tries to say it the right way. So definitely make a script before you begin your work here in GarageBand. After my script is written, one of the first things I like to do is design a title slide to go at the beginning of my podcast. They could, this can introduce my theme, the topic I'm going to talk about, and it can introduce myself. We're going to use Keynote to design the title slide. So I'm going to open it up down here. I'm going to choose a template that I like. And like we said, podcast should be visual. So the default of this template is just a title and a subtitle. But if I go to Masters, I see that I have one down here called Photo Horizontal, which will allow me to put a nice photo and a title for my title slide. This is something that we're looking for. I'm going to call my title Summer Vacation. And here, I'm just going to put my name. Now, instead of having this picture of a building, I'm going to drag from iPhoto a picture for my summer vacation to put in here. You can also grab a photo from the internet. So I'm going to open up my albums here on the side, grab one that I like, and drag it over. Now that I'm ready to go with a podcast title slide, the only thing I have to do is go to the side menu and grab the slide and place it over here in GarageBand. When I drag it over, I see a green plus. 
This is a go. It's a safe zone to drop a media from another program. So if I see the green plus, it means I can drop it here. I'm going to release, and it's going to import a title slide. You can see as soon as I import it, I now have a preview window here on the left of my podcast track. It says, click to open preview window. This gives me a preview of what a, a viewer is going to see of my podcast. It's always a good idea to check this, especially after you put in a title slide, to make sure you can read the entire title if it's a longer one and that your font size is readable. I'm going to close this now. And now that I have my title, I'm ready to add pictures. So let's get started. You can see on the right side that I have something called a media browser. And by default, my photos are already selected. What it's showing me are photos from my albums in iPhoto, another iLife program. So conveniently, GarageBand is thinking, you are making a podcast. You need to add images. Let me show you images you have in your computer. Although this is an option, it's not the only place where you have to get pictures for a podcast. Again, feel free to search for images online and you can drag directly from the internet. I will also show an example of doing that in this tutorial. To get started with adding our first picture after our title slide, I'm going to choose, based on my script, the first picture that I want to be in order in my podcast. Again. Writing a script ahead of time will help you plan the order of pictures to drop into your podcast based on what you're talking about. So the first one I need is this picture. And I'm just going to drag it over on top of my title. Allow it to drop. And you can see it's being added to the list of pictures that are here. Now, if I click on my title slide and I move my red marker all the way to the end, one thing I need to pay attention to is this window down here. This is keeping time of my podcast. The red marker is telling me that my title is going to end up being on screen for nine seconds, and this is way too long just to show a title and a name, so I need to shorten it. There's a couple ways I can do that. One is if I hover my mouse on top of this red marker or at the end of my clip, I see a bracket. I can click and drag to make this shorter. These little marks above it are marking seconds as well. So here, it would be five seconds long. I'm gonna make mine about three. And then I can just move this picture over. If I decide that I do want my title to be up there for five seconds, I can drag it back out to five and the other picture will move. Another thing I can do is move this marker exactly to three seconds so I know how far to move this picture. Now I know that this title will exactly be on the screen for three seconds and then it's time for my first picture. To continue adding images, you follow the same strategy. I'm going to grab this picture next, drop it, and I want each picture to be on the screen for about five seconds as I explain some information about it. So again, I see that this picture starts at three. I'm going to take it to about eight seconds. And drag my second picture over. You do not have to do it as technical as you want. Another way to do a podcast is drag your picture over and kind of just eyeball it and see if each picture looks about the same. I'm going to move this one over. Right about to there. So these three sections start looking about the same amount of length. What do we do to test it? Preview your podcast and see what it looks like so far. I'm going to press the space bar as a shortcut to preview my podcast so far. And even though there isn't any audio, I'm testing to see if this is long enough for me to talk about the pictures. Okay, so far, so good. I'm going to close my preview. And let's say I want to get a picture from the internet. I'm going to open up my browser 